damaging areas of the the motor cortex or the the motor system in general it could be the motor cortex it could be the cerebellum it could be the basal ganglia these are all regions that are important for turning our thoughts our intentions into actions in the world so taking this very ethereal thing called a thought like i'm gonna get up i'm gonna walk out this door i'm gonna go get a glass of water that all has to be has to go from information to action and so when you damage that when the the bridge between thought and action collapses there's no way to actually to control the body now of course how widespread the damage is uh, what the nature of that damage is there may be ways to uh, rehabilitate that but it all just reinforces this point that you can't just take any of this for granted. Thoughts and intentions and actions are all dependent, again, on this neural machinery.